most people will tell you that you need six months to a year to study for your Cisco CCNA, but I did it in just 45 days, and I'm going to tell you guys how you can do it too. My name is Takey Chris, a network engineer who has been in the field for years, and the Cisco CCNA is the certification that I use to excel my career to the next level. So the first question that a lot of you guys might have is what is a Cisco CCNA? The CCNA is a certification made by Cisco, who is a networking company that is made for you to understand how networks work inside of a Cisco environment. The CCNA is going to give you the foundation and the understanding of network security, automation, SD-WAN and cloud, and overall give you an understanding of how to configure and maintain networks within an organization. The CCNA is a certification that everyone needs to have in order to excel as a network engineer. So now that you know a little bit about what the CCNA is, you might be asking why do you even need the CCNA in order to be good as a network engineer? The CCNA is always going to be used as one of those breaking points to help you get into the field of network engineering. Without the CCNA, it's going to be very hard for you to find those jobs as a network engineer, especially if you have never configured a Cisco device in an environment. The CCNA will help you break into the field because it teaches you the fundamentals of everything within the Cisco environment, it teaches you the security, it teaches you the cloud, and it's going to help take you to the next level in understanding networks. The CCNA is also going to give you leverage. Imagine this, there are 10 people in a room, five of them have a CCNA, and you are one of those five, that is already making you 50% closer to getting that job position just because you have a CCNA. The CCNA is not an easy certification. A lot of recruiters see it as a plus if they see that on your application. If you are able to pass the Cisco CCNA, that means that you have done a step that a lot of people can't even do. The CCNA is always gonna be a certification that is gonna make you stand out when you are looking for those jobs that you're interested in. And the next thing is that the CCNA is what is gonna help you become a more diverse person in tech. When you study for the Cisco CCNA, it not only covers the concepts of networking, it shows you how to actually configure devices within a network. When you actually are studying for that CCNA, you're going to be also digging into the security aspect of things. You're going to also dig into the automation aspect of things as well. And then you're going to get into cloud and SD-WAN technology. Learning all of this is really going to make you a more diverse person in the field of tech. And having this diversity inside of the field of tech is going to make it a lot easier for you to maybe transition into other parts of tech when you feel like it. But if you want to stay inside of just network engineering, the CCNA is enough for you to stay inside of network engineering and have a very successful career. So guys, now that you understand why you might need a CCNA, I'm going to give you the exact study method I used to pass my Cisco CCNA in just 45 days. So guys, the first thing that you're going to do if you want to pass your CCNA in just 45 days is go to YouTube and go to Jeremy's IT Lab. Jeremy's IT Lab is a full on CCNA course that you can get for absolutely free. When you go through Jeremy's IT Lab, every day you go through one video of his course and if you feel like doing more you are 100% welcome to do more but you go through his course every single day you watch at least one of his videos take detailed notes and then at nighttime go back and study those notes that you just went over Jeremy's IT Labs course is a 60 day course but if you stack your videos throughout the day you can definitely finish before that 60 days watch all his videos take notes do his labs that is what is going to get you that CCNA at the end of this but is Jeremy's IT Lab enough for you to pass the CCNA I said that you need to be doing practice tests as well this is where Boson XM comes in. Boson XM is a software that has a configuration terminal for you to actually do configurations and understand how to configure devices within an organization. Using Boson XM, I was able to get a very good understanding of what the questions on the CCNA will look like. If you use Boson X, the way that I would do it is watch Jeremy's IT Labs videos, go to Boson XM, filter out for the exam topic that you want to take a test on and just do questions based on that exam topic that you just learned that day. This will help keep everything refreshed and memorized inside of your mind and also help you with that active recall. In my opinion and also many other people's opinion, Boson XM is the closest practice exam to the CCNA. If you're able to pass Boson XM exams, you will be able to pass your CCNA with no issue. The Boson XM software has a total of 300 questions and a total of three exams that you can take to pass your CCNA. Anytime that you get an answer right, wrong, no matter what it is, you are able to have detailed answers to why you got the question wrong and why the answer that you didn't get is correct. This is why I believe that Boson XM is one of the best practice exams for your Cisco CCNA. So while you're doing all this, you need to also be labbing. And this is where Packet Tracer comes in. To play. Packet Tracer is a configuration simulator that is made by Cisco for completely free. Literally, all you do is download Packet Tracer on your device and you literally are able to configure devices in an organization. You'll be able to make labs and learn how to maintain an organization's infrastructure. Although it's not a real environment that you are maintaining, learning how to configure devices in Packet Tracer, maintain them, troubleshoot them over a certain given time, this is what is going to help you become a network engineer. Learning how to lab stuff up configure them and use them for your benefit 
this is what is going to help you make it to that next level. Like I said before, Packet Tracer is completely free. And if you're not using Packet Tracer for your CCNA studies, you're literally missing out. If you're stuck on what you should actually be doing in Packet Tracer, all you have to do is follow Jeremy's IT Labs course. But if you don't want to follow his course, you can just go to his lab section that he has made. He's made a whole section with different files of labs that you can literally do in Packet Tracer. And if you do these labs in Packet Tracer, this will be enough for you to actually pass your CCNA because learning how to do those configurations is literally all that the CCNA asks you to do. So yeah, guys, that is the study method that I use. Every single day, I would go through Boson XM, Jeremy's IT Labs, and do a lab on Packer Tracer for the whole 45 days. And that was the way I was able to study for my Cisco CCNA. Most of the time, I tell people to schedule their exam two months ahead of time. But two months ahead of time, that gives you enough time to go through Jeremy's IT Labs full course, watch all his videos, do Packer Tracer Labs, go through boss on XM and at the end become a Cisco CCNA. So yeah guys, that is the study method that I use to pass my Cisco CCNA and I'm hopeful that this study method will also work for you. But yeah, that is it for me. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, go ahead and drop a subscribe for me, a like, and also comment on the video if you wanna see other videos just like this. Thank you guys and I'm out.